the University of California needs to respect students' rights to make their voices heard. Lawyers with the ACLU of Northern California filed a federal lawsuit in Sacramento on behalf of 19 UC Davis students over the November 19th pepper spray incident on campus. We are seeking a jury trial. Ultimately, the goal of the lawsuit is to determine why the university violated student protesters' rights to engage in peaceful protest. The lawsuit points many fingers at UC Davis campus police and university officials, including Chancellor Linda Katehi, who is the first to be named on the defendant list. At the end of the day, the university should not say, oh, there was one bad apple, we've taken care of the problem. The university needs to have a systemic solution to a systemic problem. UC Davis officials sent us an email with a statement from spokesperson Barry Schiller that says, quote, Attorneys for the university and the plaintiffs have been talking. We hope those conversations continue. In the meantime, we've not seen the lawsuit and therefore aren't in a position to comment on details. End quote. ACLU attorney Linda Lai, who is working on the case, says she feels this historical lawsuit will make enormous waves for the future. We do think this is huge. They were engaged in protected constitution um, in, in protected free speech at the time the university sought to break up their protest with pepper spray and what more effective a way to silence speech than to shut someone someone up with uh, a steering painful weapon like pepper spray so how did the students on campus feel about the lawsuit a lot of them we spoke to say they support the ACLU I think they have the right to do that it's uh it's, I, was, I was around that area when it did happen, and I felt like force wasn't needed, but they still pursued with it. I feel like they do need someone to support them or someone to um, take uh, action. I think it's good that they're investigating and get down to the bottom and see what's going to work and what's not going to work. But I think it's a good idea to get involved. In my opinion, I would recommend it. The lawsuit also seeks punitive damages and compensation with no amount cited. From the UC Davis campus, I'm Sherry Gyro for icdavis.com.